<laughs> My ears are fuzzy. So, hello. This is Natalia. And I've come to talk about something on my heart. And if you're kind and interested in listening, well, I'd appreciate that. Let's have at it. And the thing is, is that I've heard people say when it comes to this vegan, vegan lifestyle and experience, I've heard people say, why care about the animals? Let's focus on the humans. The humans need help. Well, I don't doubt that at all, <laughs> that humans need help. You know, it, it never sits well with me, settles well with me, that six million animals are killed every 20 minutes. So what if it was happening to humans? What if six million humans were getting killed every 20 minutes? The planet would be wiped out in no time. That's like a few cycles a day of humans getting killed. So why is it so acceptable? So why is it so considered normal? that animals are getting killed so frequently, all day, every day, 24-7. It's an animal holocaust. It's astonishing to think about that, and people are just kind of numb to it, numb to animals being considered as products. And so with that, you know, I, I, I put that into perspective of, gosh, the animals are getting it all day, every day. They don't get a break. They don't have their own bodies to even claim or consider or live as their own. They don't have their own lives. Someone's already thinking about what to do with their body, their bodily functions and fluids before they're even born. What kind of a human and a heart would it take to even act like that? To consider it normal, to perform the acts in the slaughterhouses, to feel so numb and checked out to consider that type of abuse constantly as normal. You know, I really see that as a disconnection between humans and animals. It's not like this, it's like this. It's like, huh, head to head, human, animal, rawr, predator, prey, alien versus predator, as he would say. And to me, that's a disconnection between humans and nature. And I would even say that's even a disconnection between humans and their hearts. These are life sentient beings that have families, that have friends, that have feelings, that feel like you and me, and just because they have scales, feathers, and fur, and they don't use words, doesn't mean that they're less than. So that's one thing I'd like to say about that. A very inflamed mind state would do something such as that. So. If there's that bit of a disconnect, if there's that huge of a disconnect between humans and animals, I really think the humans ugh, do need help. It's just set the animals free, educate the humans. Well, another point that I'd like to make is animal agriculture is creating over 50% of the gas emissions into the environment which has been causing global warming, which has been having a huge effect on our seasons and our nature, which has been having a huge effect on nature. It's pretty obvious that the seasons have been changing a lot differently than usual and the states of nature have been changing and has not been quite herself. Nature has been definitely giving us a big hello, a big hiccup, a big pay attention to me. So animal agriculture is creating those emissions into the environment. If you stop animal agriculture, you're going to help the whole planet right then and there. Another thing is, is that in America, half of the water that's being used is going towards animal agriculture, and there are people in other countries who have to walk miles and miles and miles to get their water. Ending animal agriculture takes care of that takes care of the water, takes care of the planet. The food that goes towards animal agriculture can go towards humans. That takes care of that. Animals won't have to suffer. That takes care of that. There'll be more land for more food to grow. That takes care of that. So what it comes down to, I feel, is if you take care of these animals, it's going to really straighten out everything. And that's the point that I want to make as far as 
whether to put animals first or humans first, well, look at the state of the world and look at the state of health. Oh, yeah, that's another one. Health. You get rid of the animal agriculture, you know, heart attacks and diabetes and all of these illnesses and diseases and mental illnesses and obesity are all due to animal products. Like, by far animal, by far animal products contribute to awful poor health. So that takes care of that right there. So that's the point that I wanted to make. If you just look at the way that the world and the people are and the animals are, and even just look at the facts, as complex as it is, it's also quite simple. So animals over humans, wow, so much will straighten out on its own, and nature will find her equilibrium, and the world can find its equilibrium just by helping the animals. That's my point. Thank you for listening. And, yeah, thank you for listening. This is a topic that really gets to me, so I'm just, yeah, thank you for listening.